How does adenosine work? Well, it's kind of like hygiene. The longer you don't shower, the filthier you are. Adenosine acts the same. It's dictated by how long we've been awake. When we use the energy currency for day-to-day -day living called adenosine triphosphate, it eventually becomes adenosine. We now know that when adenosine accumulates, we become sleepier. Now enter caffeine. Caffeine is like a car that takes up adenosine's parking spot. Because it blocks adenosine from getting into its receptors, we feel more wakeful. But caffeine also modulates the release of dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine, which are neuromodulators that promotes activation and excitement. Now caffeine has a half-life of around five hours for a healthy adult, meaning half of the caffeine is still in the system five hours after ingestion. While this may be useful in the morning when you want to be awake, avoiding consumption too late in the day is prudent. Instead, I suggest modulating these pathways through different means, such as rapid breathing structures, short bouts of physical exertion, or even fasting. So the next time someone knocks on the door and asks, hey. 